Hello friends, today we will learn how to memorize a minority structure. I am not a big fan of memorizing things, but I think if you can memorize amino acid structures, it helps you a lot uh, in uh, understanding ma many basic biochemistry principles as well as biophysics subjects. Um, so let's start. It's a basic uh, backbone which contains a carbon a amine group a carboxyl group and a hydrogen atom and there is an r group so it is an asymmetric achiral carbon atom except for glycine which has an h as an r group another structure is simpler which is alanine which is just a methyl group uh, added to this amino acid backbone if you make a inverted v it is uh, the structure of valine, uh, if you can see, it is V for valine, inverted V, and we satisfy valency of carbon, which is 4, and here we get the structure. If we add one more methyl to valine, it becomes leucine. And if we want to draw an isoleucine, what we need to, need to make is an inverted L, and this inverted L, you can make this carbon chain of 3 and you get a structure of isoleucine. In the same way to this alanine, if I add an SH moiety, this becomes cysteine. Another sulfur containing group is methionine which has uh, two more carbon atoms surrounding S and it would be CH2, CH2S, CH3 is methionine. Another similar structure to this alanine is just adding a phenyl ring to it and this makes a new amino acid which is uh, phenyl alanine. So uh, alanine with phenyl group. If we add an hydroxyl group to this phenyl alanine, this becomes tyrosine. If we use uh, if we add a hydroxyl group to alanine, which is CH2 group, it becomes a serine, which is a hydroxyl containing amino acid. Another hydroxyl containing amino acid is threonine. So for that, T for threonine, make an inverted T, and then one side you make a methyl group and one hydroxyl group, and this is threonine for you. For glutamine, just you need to make an amide group CO and NH2. This, uh, sorry, this is aspargine. And if you replace this amine group with the hydroxyl group, this becomes aspartic acid. In same continuation, if I increase one more methyl group and make a similar structure, this becomes glutamine. And if I remove amine with an hydroxyl group, then I get structure of glutamic acid. So basically what we need to do is we need to remember that carbon has a valency of 4, nitrogen has a valency of 3 and we have to satisfy in the structure. If I make a 4 carbon chain and add an NH2, this becomes lysine or NH3 plus another structure which uh, would be similar to this a uh, bit complicated is um, arginine so there is three carbon backbone and then there is a nitrogen triangle around the carbon and this makes the structure of arginine just satisfy all the valencies of carbon and nitrogen and here you get the structure of arginine. Uh, tryptophan is a molecule uh, which, uh, which is abbreviated as a W. So if you make a capital W okay and one side of W you make a hexagon the other side make a pentagon with nitrogen again satisfy the condition uh, for nitrogen and carbon 
so uh, this is the stru structure for tryptophan another aromatic uh, one is histidine uh, which is a pentagon and what we need to remember that this pentagon has uh, two nitrogen atom diagonally so you make two nitrogen atoms and then again what you do is satisfy the valency of uh, nitrogen and what you get is uh, the structure of histidine last but one of the most uh, interesting structure is basically proline it is a three carbon chain which goes and combine with a backbone amine group uh, and that's why proline is uh, called as amino acid and a helix breaker so you satisfy the condition of nitrogen here and here you get the structure of proline i guess you like the video uh, we'll discuss the properties of amino acid in the next video